Hey guys, it's Wednesday already. That's crazy, right? Uh, so I thought today we would spend some time just relaxing our back uh, again on the floor. Uh, what you'll need is either a foam roller or you can grab a towel and roll it up. That will, that will work as well. And obviously some space to move around. So I'm gonna keep this foam roller close by, but for right now, we're gonna start leaning back into a child's pose. You can either have a narrow stance or a wide stance, whatever feels good. And we're gonna start by just moving from one side to the other. Just going nice and slow, just waking up the body. Okay, come back to center, we're gonna roll up. We got some cat cows here, so you're lifting up towards the ceiling and then rounding that spine. We're going to do three. And now you're going to pull back into a child's pose and do the same thing. So we're rounding the back, bringing the chin up. So this is going to change the pivot point of what we're moving the spine from. And now we're going to create a spinal wave. So I'm tucking my pelvis under in order to create a wave. I'm going to start moving forward towards my shoulders, sinking the hips, looking up towards the ceiling, tucking the chin, and rounding back. We've got three of these. Creating that spinal wave. Again, we're not looking for perfection, guys. We're just starting to move the body. On this last one here, we're gonna stop, kind of in this cobra position. We're gonna move the head around. So your choice, you can do a full circle with the neck. You can look from side to side. Whatever feels good on that neck. Rotating. Or even dropping your ear from one side to the other. All right, now we're gonna side bend the body. So we're just trying to create just some movement throughout that spine. Again, we're going for three aside. Okay, you're on your stomach now. You're gonna place your hands out to the side and we're gonna lift up one hip and bring it over to the other side. Hold for a second or two before going to the other side. Again, we're doing three aside. All right, we're gonna reverse that. So we were just twisting the lower part, now we're gonna twist the upper part. So I'm gonna lift, and twist up. Okay, back onto our hands and knees, guys. You're gonna take your hand onto your ear and we're gonna take the elbow and bring it down to the opposite side and then we're gonna open up our chest. We've got three again. And then switch sides. All right, sitting on your butt, you're gonna cross one leg over the other, like so, and we're gonna drop the heel down. Switching sides, same thing, crossing the leg over, dropping it down.
Next, you're gonna lay on your back. We're gonna do very similar motion there where we're crossing one leg over the other and we're dropping it down to the side. This time when we come up, guys, we're actually gonna switch legs and we're gonna alternate sides. Again, we're just trying to create some motion into the spine here. If you wanna slow this motion down, you can. Hug your knees into your chest. You're gonna roll off to one side. So you're making sure that the knees stay pinched together. Your hands are out in front. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist open like a book and back down. Again, doing this three times. Now we're gonna do three where we create a rainbow over top of our head. So my hands are here together. They're rotating back, making sure my knees stay stacked. And then I'm coming through. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. So again, opening up that book, making sure that those knees stay together. Once you've done three, we're going to create that rainbow. So my hands going around and sliding through. All right. Now. Okay. So now it's time for either your rolled up towel or your foam roller. Doesn't matter which one you use because I have access to a foam roller, I'm gonna use that instead of the towel, but both of them are equally as, as effective. So we have these shoulder blades that are back here. You're gonna to wanna to put that roll right underneath the shoulder blades. So it's down on the ground. I'm leaning down and I wanna move my shoulder blades around because those guys should be free. My hands are gonna go behind my neck here just to support it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up my hips, I'm gonna lean back so that my head is heavy into my hands, and then I'm dropping my hips down. You're gonna feel a nice big release. Lift the hips up, let the hips sink. Lift the hips up. Let them sink. Now we're gonna butterfly the arms. So the elbows are coming in, and then you're opening up the chest. We're gonna do this one five times. Once you're done five, lift up the hips again, settle them back down. Now your arms are out like a cactus and I want you to reach up overhead and back down. We got five. Once you've done five, hands come back to the back of the head. You're gonna support it back up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll from side to side. Make sure you're going as a unit. Once you've done three aside, we're gonna stop on one side. And we're just gonna put pressure right into that shoulder. Now you can stay here, especially if you're on the towel. If you're on the roller, go ahead and just move ever so slightly. This is getting into that lat attachment and into the teres. A 
other side, same thing. your hands and knees. Now you're going to take your elbows and you're going to place them onto the foam roller. And we're trying to sink down. Now, if you don't have the flexibility, actually grabbing a couch would actually be better for this. What do I have here? I've got a tote. So, if you don't have the kind of flexibility, having something higher up would actually be better. I'm placing my elbows here, making a shark fin and letting that come back to touch where my shoulder blades are. And I'm trying to sink inwards. three like this sinking back down come back out got one more just like that Take one hand, you're gonna reach across, and I'm pulling, pulling this way. So I'm pulling on an angle here. And you should be feeling this into your lats. Switch sides, grabbing across. two times and anything works with this even if you have a coffee table a couch door frame Perfect. So we're going to go back either to that towel or the foam roller. Last time we had it between our shoulder blades or behind our shoulder blades. Now I want it right, right where your, your hip bones stick out. So here's my bony hip bones. If I were to draw a line, it's going to hit right onto the center of this. So what I'm going to do here is have my feet planted and I just want to make small little side to side movements here. And I'm going to feel it a little bit into my glutes. Once you've done three, you're going to pull one leg in, then the other leg in. We're going to hug one leg. The other one's going to go straight up to the ceiling. And then I'm going to drop that leg straight down. You're going to feel this stretch into the front of your body here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bend the knee, bring it back up, hug that knee, the other leg is going to come up, drop it down. This is actually one of my favorite exercises to do, so we're actually going to do five a side. any runners out there watching this video this one is fantastic to do after your runs or before them I find if I do this before my runs actually I feel like I 
get a better run. My legs feel that they go through the cadence of that gait cycle a little bit easier. So what we're actually stretching out here is your hip flexor. So we have a muscle that runs right where the belly button is, that's where your L3 is, into your leg bone. And this is the guy that always gets tight from sitting, which I'm sure a lot of us have been doing a lot more of lately. I know I have. <laughs> One more. Really feeling that stretch here. And try to relax your glutes. I'm so guilty of that. <laughs> I know I like to squeeze them, especially when it's trying to safeguard when it's super tight. All right, legs back to your chest. You're gonna cross one leg over the other. The leg that's in front, I'm taking this knee, I'm pushing it away, and then I'm just wiggling back and forth. And then also to the side with the knee that's bent. Just kind of wiggling around to see wherever you feel that glute. Alright, you're going to switch sides. The TLXA sack. Same thing, you can go back and forward or you can go from side to side. Whatever feels good. down we're gonna lift up the hips let the foam roller come down then we're gonna lower down the back all right now we're gonna do curl ups so I'm pushing my ribs down and we're gonna slowly curl up and slowly curl down and when I go down I'm really trying to push my spine down three of these Really trying to create that curl. All right, grab your foam roller or readjust your towel. We're gonna lay on it lengthwise now. So you wanna make sure that your entire spine, including your skull, is actually supported from this. So if your towel is too short, you can always put pillows where your head's going to be. Now what we're going to do here is our arms are here. I'm going to bend them. I call this the cactus pose here. You're going to hold for a few seconds. And we're going to do that again. We're going to do a total of five. slowly. All right, moving on to our standing series for the spine. What we're going to do is we're going to flex the spine and bring it back up. So I'm flexing, extending. That's three. We got a total of five, four, and five. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our rib cage and we're going to slide it across so my hips are staying still i'm only sliding across my rib cage it's three we're going to go for five it's 
so we're going to use our rib cage here and we're going to create a circle and so what i'm trying to do is only allow my ribs to move not my pelvis so my hands are here creating that circle we're going to do three in one direction in the opposite direction. All right, we're gonna do the same with pelvis. So we started with the spine doing flexion extension. We're gonna do the same here. So find your hip bones. You're gonna tuck under, bring it back. You have three of these. Now the next one is a hip hike, so we're bringing the hip up and then to the other side. And yes, your legs are going to have to move as you create this. All right, now we're going to try to do a circle. So you're going to tuck, you're going to bring it out to the side, round it back to the other side and back. We're going to do three in one direction. from the bottom to the top. Once you get the top, you're gonna to reach to the ceiling and then we're gonna start leaning off to the side. Back to center, we're gonna do the same thing, down to the bottom, back up, other side. our Wednesday move daily guys we're halfway through the week already if you guys have any suggestions or comments please leave them below uh, and if you have any specific areas you want me to do next let me know take care guys